you'll have to excuse the um, little bit of additional moustache I've got here. <laughs> excuse me. Oh God, it just keeps going. Get out of there. Uh. Kia ora koto and welcome to Experience Bar where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening as so I show you how to make a usually Patreon exclusive recipe, Argonian Ale from the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Let's get started. So, Argonian Ale is a uh, drink that you can get as part of a relatively minor side quest uh, that you get in Whiterun. You are asked by the uh, local homeless gentleman to pick him up uh, the Argonian Ale from the inn at Whiterun, him describing it as the good stuff. If you do so, he's happy with you and you go on your way, it's a pretty minor quest. But it did get me wondering, what exactly makes a Ale Argonian? Well. Here's my take. So first of all, you are going to need a shaker three quarters of the way filled with ice. And now we have to make a decision. Argonian Ale. Do you think it's a drink made by Arg Argonians or simply named after Argonians? Kind of like how Shirley Temples are supposed to be named after Shirley Temple, but she actually hates them and has no idea why they're called that. Personally, I thought it'd be a lot more interesting to see what kind of a drink an Argonian could make feasibly within the Elder Scrolls universe. So first of all, you are going to need two ounces of brandy. We know from the Elder Scrolls Online that they have access to a form of brandy. Now brandy being made from grapes, maybe they grow it in Black Marsh. I don't think so because Black Marsh is quite literally a swamp. And to my knowledge, grapes don't grow so good in swamps. They might have had access to rice, so they could have made a kind of sake instead, but hey, Elder Scrolls Online says they have uh, brandy, so we're using brandy. Next up, we are going to add two ounces of banana liqueur. Again, this is from the Elder Scrolls Online. We know that they have access to bananas because a lot of their provisioning recipes include bananas of some kind. Pop that in there. Next, we're gonna add half an ounce of rich brown simple syrup. If you aren't sure how to make that, check below. It's very, very easy. And last of all, we are going to add a whole egg. Now, I've added egg because Argonians being lizards, we can assume that eggs are a pretty important part of their diet. So if they're gonna make an ale with it, well, they probably could. So don't think too hard about it. It's eggs. Uh, trust me, it's gonna make sense in a second. We're gonna give this a shake. And after you've got your workout in, you're going to strain this, not into a glass just yet, but back into the other half of your shaker. Because we are making this with egg, you have to uh, double, sh double shake it. What's called a uh, reverse dry shake is what we're doing here. Shake it with egg first and with uh, ice. And then second, we shake it uh, without ice. That helps fluff up the egg, which is gonna be important in a second. Now we are going to shake it without ice. When you're doing this, uh, your best bet, if you're using this style of shaker, which is called a Boston shaker, line them up one to one, so they're going straight down the line, so to speak. Don't do this. That's standard with shaking with ice. Make sure you do it this way. That will help um, keep the shaker closed when you're shaking without ice. And also it helps to uh, give it an extra big of a bit of a push and grip. Whew, another workout. Guys, I'm, I'm very out of shape. So this is basically my workout for the day, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna crack this open. Hopefully you've made sure that it didn't explode all over yourself. And we are going to strain it into our tankard. Wouldn't be an ale without a tankard. And you're gonna see in a sec. Don't stress, don't stress. It doesn't fit all the way to the top. That is intentional because this being an Argonian ale, well, we've got to add some ale to it, right? At this point, people who are aficionados, ooh, aficionados of the cocktail world will recognize what I'm making here. I'm making a form of a hot ale flip. See, I was thinking, Argonians in Black Marsh mostly get around by boat. Um, they are also amphibious, which would make them pretty good sailors, right? So why not make one of the proto-cocktails into Argonian Ale, that being a hot ale flip. Though I've made a couple of adjustments to the hot ale flip traditional recipe, we're not heating this up with a poker at any point, and it's cold, um, I feel like it's still close enough for it to be appropriate for a kind of water-based sailing uh, kind of group of people. But we have still got one last ingredient to add, which is our ale. 
Now, this is an ale, this is stout. The Argonians did have access to rice that we know from the Argonian account in Skyrim. So we could use a brown rice ale, but it tastes like poos. I did try it, it tastes bad. So instead I tried a couple of other alternatives, which include stout. So this is where we're taking a little bit of break from the law and going with a creative license instead. What you're gonna see is this nice little eggy foam that we've got here. Well, it's about to get even foamier. There we go. With this drink, you'll see that it does that Guinness and Kilkenny's thing where it does that drop down. So you do have to be a little bit patient. But at this point, this is what I consider an Argonian ale. Very rare, you don't find it anywhere else outside of the side quest um, in Skyrim, but that's kind of understandable considering how much work goes into making this. One last change that I would add, however, is a little bit of nutmeg over the top that we'll just sprinkle. There you have it, it's done. It's now finished that nice kind of Guinness Kilkenny's thing. And that is the Argonian Ale, my interpretation of it. A kind of a hot ale flip with a little bit of uh, Elder Scrolls Online adjustments and a little bit of, well, personal preference as well. But these drinks don't happen without some serious support from our community, so I'd like to say thank you to all of our patrons who help make these drinks happen, in particular Chip Horman. Cheers for the drink. So Argonian Ale, it's kind of, it's sweet. We've got quite a lot of sugars in there with that banana liqueur, uh, that extra brown sugar to uh, bring out the extra banana. Um, the brandy in there has a little bit of that, that typical raisin flavor. But to be honest here, the stout is the dominant flavor, but it mixes so nicely with the rest of everything. It gives it the kind of chocolatey flavor. This looks like an ale, right? It looks like a beer, a beer ass beer. I mean, it's got that little bit of uh, layering here, which is purely accidental. I didn't know it was gonna do that. So that's a, that's a nice little addition. It didn't do that when I did it at home. I'll just pretend that that was intentional. <laughs> but yeah, it's sweet, very much a dessert drink. I can see why that gentleman in white run thought that this was uh, the good stuff. I would certainly be willing to ask someone to steal this from me after I got cut off in the inn. But yeah, that's Argonian Ale from our upcoming Elder Scrolls recipe book. If you'd like to uh, catch that once it's out, uh, please consider heading over to our Patreon and chucking us $3 a month. You also get access to a Dungeons and Dragons recipe book and a Witcher recipe book at the same time. Anyway, hope to see you there. Um, if you'd like to see more of this nonsense, uh, you can catch us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, on our Discord. Uh, we have a few TikToks up as well. Um, we're also creating new content on YouTube every couple of weeks, so I hope to see you then. But until then, cheers.